Hello Fox. My name is Ilham. My name is Umar. Okay, in this video, we're gonna give you a brief explanation of one of the most important historical moments for Portugal in the 16th century. What is it about, Ilham? I know you are already curious about it. So, without any further ado, let's talk about the first seat of you. In the Indian Ocean, Suleiman Pasha, governor of Egypt, led numerous naval campaigns against the Portuguese, trying to cast them off and reset up Muslim foreign power in India. In 1509, the Great Battle of Diu turned the Portuguese against the blinded fleet of the Sultan of Gujarat and the Burzi Mamluk Sultanate of Egypt and the Zamorin Kozi Kode, all with the Ottoman support. From 1517, the Ottomans were looking to be a part of this force together with Gujarat to keep the Portuguese far from the Red Sea. The pro-Ottoman troops, beneath Captain Hoka Seba, were hooked up to Salman Reis in Diu. Diu in Gujarat at the site of Surat was one of the primary factories of deliver of spice to Ottoman Egypt at the time. However, Portuguese intervention controlled the passage to the Red Sea. In 1530, Venice couldn't get a delivery of spice through Egypt. The Ottomans beneath the Yemeni governor Mustafa fought the Portuguese in Aden from 1530 to 1531 and dispatched a fleet to Diu in Gujarat to repel the Portuguese siege of the under Nuno da Cunha. The Portuguese withdrew in February 1531. After that, however, the Gujarat Sultan Bahadur Shah was confronted by the fact that the Mughal Emperor Humayun met an alliance with the Portuguese, who took the possibility to construct a sturdy citadel in the front of the U. The Portuguese captured the citadels of Gogala or called Bender Ito, close to the town, and constructed Fort Diu. Bahadur attempted to track a Portuguese withdrawal. However, on 13 February 1537, he drowned through negotiation aboard a Portuguese ship in the full circumstance. It cites blaming the other for the tragedy. Bahadur Shah additionally requests the Ottoman to expel the Portuguese which broke about an expedition in 1538. Before their voyage to Diu, the Ottoman fleet under Suleiman Pasha first captured Aden in Yemen in 1538. They did that in order to provide a base prior to their assault to the Portuguese possession in the western coast of India. The subjugation of Aden was running smoothly. Finally, on 19 August 1538, they left Aden with 72 ships and arrived at Diu on 4 September 1538. This expedition to Diu had the largest Ottoman fleet that had ever been sent into the Indian Ocean. Together with Gujarat, they initiated a siege to the city of Diu. The alliance forces seemed to outnumber the Portuguese forces. Yet, the Portuguese side still held a number of advantages one of which is the newly built fort in Diu. The existence of the fort made them hard to be defeated by their enemy, though the Ottoman Gujarat army were armed with 130 cannons, they eventually failed in the siege as they heard the news that some Portuguese fleet arrived to aid the defenders. Following their failure in the siege, the Ottoman fleet returned to Aden. The city was fortified by a hundred pieces of artillery. The territory of Yemen and Aden were organized to be an Ottoman province. Suleiman was about to initiate the second siege, but it didn't happen. In 1540, the Portuguese put on a revenge by attacking Suakin and Kusayr, and tried to conquer Suez. 
the Ottoman established a new naval base in Basri in 1546, and this was considered a threat to the Portuguese in Hormuz. The fate of Diu would be continued with another siege in the same year but with a different composition of Portuguese enemies. Okay, thank you for your attention and see you on another fabulous journey of Portugal history. Bye.